If you're a fan of fishing and Sea of Thieves like I am, you understand this scene, sailing through the storm on the hunt for stormfish. But I'm here to tell you that if you're looking to make gold off fishing, this ain't it. Move over, stormfish. There's a new best fish in town, and I made 300,000 gold in one session selling it. Now, I don't say this lightly, so here are my credentials. I am a legendary hunter of the Sea of Thieves. That means that I have fished at least 2,100 pieces of fish, delivered 300 pieces of cooked meats, and 50 pieces of treacherous plunder. I guarantee you, however, I have fished much more than that. But there have been a couple of updates to fishing since I did this that have changed the fishing meta. The most impactful of these changes has to be fish nameplates. You see, before 2022, you had to visually identify the fish in the water for the few seconds it would swim around your hook before you decided whether or not to let it eat your bait. This might sound simple when you're in calm waters like these, but when you're in the storm, it's near impossible to figure out. I can't tell you how many leeches I lost to ruby splash tails in the hunt for stormfish. Now, not a problem. Not the fish you're looking for, just retract the rod and cast again. Simple as that. The second major change to the fishing meta was the ability to purchase bait supplies from the shipwright as part of the captaincy update in season seven. In the past, you had to dig up your own bait. Leeches found near water, grubs in sand, and earthworms in greenery. But it's not a one-to-one -one dig to bait ratio. There's a bit of RNG involved. But now, no more RNG. As long as you're part of a captained crew, you can purchase bait supplies and now have 10 of each bait available for your escapades. On top of that, if you sail to multiple outposts, you can purchase bait again, adding an additional 10 each. With seven outposts in the game, that's a potential total of 70 leeches, 70 grubs, and 70 earthworms for you to use on your fishing expedition. And I guarantee you that the outposts will restock before you're done with those. Now here's where the fun begins. First, I recommend starting at Plunder Outpost. You'll understand why in a few minutes. Unfortunately, I've got to pillage barrels instead of following my own advice because once again, hashtag broke pirate. Next, find a shipwreck in the Ancient Isles portion of the map. The closer to a sea fort, the better. You're gonna wanna pillage that ship, but not for treasure. Instead, raid the barrels on the hunt for fish. If you didn't realize, fish can be stored in shipwrecks. Even better, the barrels on shipwrecks respawn new supplies every 30 minutes or so, just like the outposts do, which means you can stock up infinitely. After raiding the ship, it's time to go fishing. Yes, there's no getting around it. If you want to make headway into legendary hunter status, you're going to have to fish. But with all the updates to fishing that I've talked about already, fishing is a far less painful process. You don't need to feel forced to make quick decisions on whether or not you want that fish to bite your line. With the fish nameplates, you could just say, nah, not for me, and recast. And that's the whole method to how I made my money. I was being pretty picky. First, nothing less than trophy wreckers or the rare snow wrecker. Cooked trophy wreckers get you at minimum 1,410 gold, while the cooked snow wrecker is 5,625 gold. And if you manage to land a trophy snow wrecker, Cooked, at minimum, 14,065 gold. I say at minimum because there's one last trick that I'm saving until the end of the video. So stick around and subscribe to not miss out on other tricks in the future. So that's the method. Keep in mind a couple of things. I chose to fish trophy fish, but you can skip right to being selective and only fishing rare fish. I cannot understate how great it is to fish with fish nameplates on. A quick glance to see if that's the fish you want then either go for it or recast. It's simple. Also, trophy fish take about two to two and a half minutes to reel in. So decide if you want to commit to that, plus the bait loss to catch that fish or skip to the next one. And because of the shipwreck respawn timer, you'll get a variety of other fish as well, including even shadowed stormfish. So no more storm chasing for you. Once it's time to wrap things up, head over to the nearest sea fort, clear it out of phantoms, and use those fantastic four stove pans to speed up the cooking process. Another superb quality of life addition to the fishing meta. This is such a time saver when it comes to making gold while fishing. This new strategy was so good, I invited friend and subscriber Taelion Dath, a fellow legendary hunter of the Sea of Thieves, to join me in the shenanigans. And when all was said and done, 
we turned in our precious fish cargo at the finest trading post. I promised one last fishing tip to maximize gold, and it's this. Sell during gold rush. That one hour of bonus gold can make a huge impact on your income stream. That 5k fish has now become an 8.5k fish. And that 16k fish, the glorious trophy snow wrecker, turned out to be worth over 21,000 gold. I hope you found this video enlightening. It's not a daredevil challenge by any stretch of the imagination, but fishing holds a special place in my heart. If you did, subscribe and hit that like button. And until the next adventure, this is John Bardcore signing out, saying so long and take care.